Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue and today we're going to do a couple of cool things. Actually this question came up in our group and I answered it but I thought a video would be really cool on the subject. So let's start with uh, digitizing. So let's go to digitize and it twirls open. We're going to digitize a rectangle and that's all you do and I'm just left clicking and pulling and you let go and you click and we have a perfect rectangle. Now if we want a satin stitch around that all we have to whoops all we have to do make sure you just do backspace and go back to your select key so you don't do that again and you can see that my item is selected because of the hot pink outline on it. Now we're going to go to edit objects and we are going to create an outline super easy. Uh, I don't want an offset. I just want an outline. Now I want it to be satin line and you know what? Red's fine. I don't care. Uh, it's only going over a square. There we go. That looks fantastic. Now that may be a bit large, but you know what? That's okay. Let's put up our resequen sequence. It wasn't up before. We can make that a little bit smaller too. Let's go to about here just so you can see it. Now, if you wanted to take this and you wanted to make a gap in the satin stitches, how would you do that? Because making the outline using the outline uh, button is very handy and it makes it perfectly and it's a great way to get it done. But what if you wanted a little gap in here? You will say you wanted embroidery you know, kind of over it and you didn't want the big bulky satin stitches to stitch under it you could you know grab um digitize and digitize open shape and do a satin stitch here you know it's one two three four five six clicks or you can select the satin stitch border make sure you select it and we can go to edit and we're going to go to right here the knife tool and all we're going to do let's zoom in a little bit maybe all we're going to do is cut the satin stitch so you can see my icon change to a knife. Click and click and enter and then grab the knife tool again for the second one. Click and click and enter. And while it doesn't look like it did anything, you can look at your resequence and you can see it actually did. When you deselect it, you can select this one single part and uh, delete it or move it around um, the whole bit. Now it put a little line in there. You can leave that or delete it. It's probably a connecting stitch. And let's delete this guy. And there you have it. That is how to cut into a satin stitch to make a little gap. And that it is how you use the knife tool here inside Hatch Embroidery Software. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.